and this is the question of uh, 2016 may june paper 13 and the question uh, number is 36 so it says uh, 100 cm potentiometer wide qt so it means that uh, the length from here to here is total 100 centimeters is connected in series with a 2.00 volt cell yes we have it here and we have another circuit which has got again 2 volt cell in series with uh, resistances 4.00 ohm and 6.00 ohm so we have one circuit here and one circuit here uh, connections PQ and RS are then made so that the potential difference across the 4 ohm resistor is balanced across this PD this PD uh, <coughs> along, along, along this length mm. so uh, both the cells have negligible resistance we have to find this uh, balance length L so for this purpose let us first find what is the value of this VPR so this arrangement, the arrangement, this thing, by arranging this thing, we can find the value of VPR by the, uh, <coughs> by the, using the principles of potential dividers. So we will have VPR is equal to, by using the formula of potential divider, it will be 4.00 divided 4.00 plus 6.00 into this 2.00 volt so it will be 4 by 10 into 2 which will be equal to 4 by 10 is 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 into 2 is 0 0.80 volt so the PD here should be is equal to 0 0.80 volt now since we have uh, the word called as balanced since there's a balance the current that is recorded by this meter should be zero it means it is only possible if this pd and this pd is same so this means since it is a balanced condition since it is in a balanced condition condition we must have vqs should be equal to vpr and that should be equal to 0 0.80 volt so vqs should be equal to 0 0.80 volt now as you know in a potentiometer in any potentiometer we have a v across any length is a proportional to length of that that thing proportional to length of that that reason so that means uh, v q s by v q t should be equal to l q s by l q t so since they are proportional we must have the potential differences should be uh, sh sh the ratio of the pd should be equal to the ratios of the lengths so which means that we have VQS equal to 0 0.80 volt. We have a VQT is equal to this 2 volt because the internal resistance is 0. So it is 2.00 equal to LQS we have to find which is simply L. And LQT is equal to 100 centimeter. So it is. 100 centimeter so this thing we can do it here so l should be equal to 0 0.80 by 2.00 into 100 so this will definitely be definitely be around uh since it will be 40 centimeter so this is 40 centimeter so this length will be altogether 40 centimeter which is given by choice number b in the answer